So I'm back. Um, took a little break because I was house sitting for some friends of mine for a while. But now I'm back in my shop and we're just going to get started with some Axe Puck reviews. So typically people start off with uh, these like combo stones, um, Axe Pucks. So there's a coarser side and a fine side. And usually they're about like 150 uh, coarse, 300 fine. And works pretty great. Um, use them on my Robin Wood stones and like, uh, or sorry, Robin Wood's um, axe and a Fiskars that I used to have that I think is somewhere still, but I don't use it as much anymore. Um, but I was looking for something a little bit finer and Adam had been talking about um, Baronix uh, bench stones. Um, so decided to try these. Um, so what's interesting about this one is that uh, this is the Baronix Mutt Stone. And essentially what it is, is it's all of the leftovers from ma the making of uh, all the other sharpening stones that they make. So it's got silicon carbide, aluminum oxide, what have you in here all together. So it makes it a really neat, fast, coarse stone. So it's fairly coarse. Um, and it, it works fairly well. Uh, then this other one is the Baronix, uh, combo stone. And you'll see this actually, um, they'll replace the Baronix brand with like, uh, Whiskey River Trading Company, um, and everyone else's actual logo. Um, like Arctic Fox is basically just the Baronix brand, just rebranded. And what you get here is it's slightly finer than the Lansky Puck. Um, so it's not as coarse, even on the coarse side, uh, than the Lansky Puck is. And then the fine side is actually very fine. Um, as you can tell after I used it, um, all that black bit, it used to be very white. <laughs> um, it got um, dark and full of um, metal shavings fairly fast. Um, so I like that part of it. Um, I, I, on both of these axes, this is the Grants Forest Brooks, uh, Swedish Carver and the Robin Wood Tools, um, Carver. I used both of these on them and they worked really nice. Um, so this mutt stone is great for, um, if you're, if you need to do a lot of grinding. And this puck is just perfect for uh, my carving axes because I don't really let them get very bad um, because they're carving tools. Um, and so I'm always kind of touching them up more than using them a ton to chop a ton of wood um, and then letting the, letting the edge get dull too bad uh, the way you would if you were using like a utility ax. So the Lansky puck is pretty great for like bushcraft axes and stuff like that where you use it a ton and then you need to sharpen it out in the field. And so like having the super coarse grit is nice, but really I need something finer because I'm always touching up my edges. So with carving knives, you carve for about 20 minutes and then you strop again. So you're always touching up your edge so that you really don't have to sharpen too much. Or if you do, it's on these very fine grits. Uh, so that's just kind of a habit I've built. And with my carving axes, I do the same thing because I'm usually, I'm using these axes to just kind of get um, the wood that I've gotten into a nicer billet shape. Uh, for example, for making spoons, I take it from a billet and then into the actual shape of a spoon before I touch it with the carving knife for the actual finishing touches. Um, anytime I'm actually going to be splitting wood, um, I do, I use a fro. Uh, so my fro gets the Lansky puck treatment because I use that more often. It gets duller faster. And then I just touch it up with the coarse grit and that's fine. It doesn't need to be a super keen sharp edge. And if I'm really having fun, then I just take it to the rest of the grits, um, even take out, um, uh, even especially for the carving axes, I'll take, I'll take, uh, 
like my Arkansas stones to these just to give it that finer, keener edge. So yeah, that's my review of these. The Bronix Pucks are awesome. I'm going to keep using this for sure. Um, I do also really enjoy the Mudstone. It's just kind of interesting to just put all the grits, <laughs> all the synthetic grits together, and then just you just get like a weirdly coarse but also fine stone. It's very interesting. All right. Well, that's it for today. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, liking, subscribing, sharing the channel really helps me a lot um, and keeps me motivated to actually keep producing content like this. And uh, I'll see you around the workshop, yeah? All right. See you later.